uh, Jingo said, uh, so Jingo, where are you zooming in from? I am in Vancouver, British Columbia. All right, all right. I'm over here in Duncan. Neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You said, uh, your info has brought me peace because I hated marketing. Which me me too. Um, now I feel I can do it just by telling my ethics and products. Uh, okay. Okay. So do you recommend any tweaking, uh, sharing info about services marketing? Okay. Um, can you say more about all this? Like, I, I'm not trying to understand when you say, uh, do you recommend yeah, it, it, so we have, uh, like, a we have products, right? Skincare products. And actually, I just want that tagline there at the top. I think I watched a video of you, and I think it's Rebecca, and you were talking about say the thing that that you are most afraid to say. Yeah, yeah. And I immediately went and changed that thing about how, because that's exactly how we feel about skincare that it shouldn't be toxic and it should be complicated. And what we create are products that that make it simple and healthy. So that's where my passion is. And so seeing your videos talking about um, just talk doing your ethics. Um, and that's where it goes. And the marketing stuff, that's the stuff that always made me feel sick because uh, it just didn't feel right. You've, you've just completely changed how I feel about this. So now I'm like stoked. Yes. Uh, but what I see is a lot of your stuff goes to helping services. And I get this like long-term, you were talking about with uh, Naomi about um, the long-term effects of things. How can... Or, or is there any advice for doing something like this a specific product? Yeah, okay. With products, there are a few things. One thing right away I would consider, I mean, you've kind of, let me see if you have it. Okay. One thing I'd consider adding that a lot of businesses have is a My Philosophy page. Okay. Yeah. Um, a page where you just share, here's our, our um, I mean, maybe it's under our story. Let's see. There is stuff about our story, yeah. Yeah, okay. So this, um, yeah, we believe less is more. We believe, okay, so this is the very common and great way to do it uh, for anyone who's wondering how to do it, kind of my philosophy approaches. Yeah, we believe. Okay, so you've already got mm -hmm. that there. That's great. Um, so there's two things, I think, for product makers that are really important. One is the point of view marketing piece sharing your philosophy, sharing your approach, sharing your, your kind of understanding of you know, skin and, and healing and beauty and whatever this is about for you. But also even sharing like the, you know, there's the, here's how we make our products behind the scenes, you know, mm -hmm. uh, videos of the products being made so people can see it, um, helping them get to know and meet the people who are involved. You know, so we, we buy from people, not companies, ideally. So mm -hmm. you know, more of the sharing the stories, sharing the philosophy and point of view, but also the biggest thing is hubs. And, you know, in terms of, I don't know if you've seen my hub marketing webinar, uh, that's probably- Yes, I have. Yeah, okay. So the hub marketing approach is the most important for a product maker. And the question to me is always, okay, the people who would love this product, what else would they love? What else are they into? Where else would we find them? And to be looking for mm -hmm. those kinds of partnerships, looking for those kinds of what events should we be at? But also, are there yeah, influencers in certain scenes? And maybe we could just say, hey, we love your work. We just wanted to send you a free box of stuff. Or, um, mm -hmm. you know, the the hubs thing for, for products is, is a big deal. And yeah, are there events that we should be at? And when we're at those events, how do we make the most of them? You know, trade shows okay. can be great. Do you do trade shows at all? Uh, we we did one before COVID, and then it was it was okay. It was our first one. I wouldn't say it was great, and then kind of got wiped out after that. Yeah. So uh, trade shows yeah. can be fantastic, but the other thing you can do with trade shows, and this you know whether you're a product or a service, um, is. So a, a trade show is going to inherently have a lot of your hubs if it's the right kind of trade show, right? The people in the other booths are potentially hubs. So you can just buy mm -hmm. a ticket to the trade show and go around and talk to people. I say, yeah, mm -hmm. we got the skincare thing. We were thinking about having a booth. We didn't have it this time, but um, tell us about what you do. And you tell, you know, you start to make connections and those may be right. people who, where you can do some joint ventures and co-promotions um, where they could mm -hmm. email their list about you. Um, do you have a sense of who your best, what your best types of hubs are generally? 
Okay, that's a problem. Um, because, again, trying to like bring it down to less is more, right? And not trying to do everything for everybody. Um, we make an incredible deodorant. We make a mama and baby line that like is inspired when my sister had her twins who are now 11, right? And it's just talking about and looking at the ingredients that are in products and how horrible they are. So that kind of fueled that. But then I love working with essential oils too. And I think our skincare, our, our face line is amazing as well, right? So I'm trying to call down things. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. The, yeah. What I would say is, well, you may have different hubs for different types of product lines. But right. when, when I say hubs, I think, okay, there may be people who, um, there are people who work with like skin issues, but not with products, but they do, it's all diet, you know, right. from, okay. from the inside out. So there may be those kinds of people. So let's actually do just a brainstorm here in the chat. Okay. So you've gotten a sense now of, of what this is. So what might the hubs agenda? Okay. So I imagine you're all the, the marketing team and you've been hired to help Jingo find her, her clients. You know, where are these clients going to be? Yeah, where yoga practices. Yeah, I was thinking yoga teachers, yoga studios, mm -hmm. certainly. Um, yeah, right. Spas, acupuncture clinics, specialty salons. Right. I'd love to go to a yoga retreat where all the products are provided or uh, a clean right health food stores mm -hmm. environmental activism conferences retreat centers holistic hotels farmers markets these are great oh gosh i love you people yeah um oh uh, some rachel you just sent that directly to me but um with breastfeeding guides like the la Leisha league certainly so uh facebook groups for moms especially the ones where moms want healthy products yeah women's groups you know, I, I think you could, you could do potentially great business with like women's coaches, women's empowerment coaches. We want to think complementary, mm -hmm. right? Not just other people who do product, but right. maybe products are really different or groups. Uh, we've got um, doulas, special events, baby showers, may have mom groups, co-op food stores. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, all these, you know, are types of places. And what I recommend as you're approaching hubs to start with thinking about what um, what are the three kind of hub categories, the types of hubs that we might want to have. So for me, okay. you know, I'm thinking with my signature workshop, certainly I could, I could go and I will go to my colleagues and say, do you want to host my, my workshop for your people? But the truth is probably a lot of my colleagues, we do similar stuff. Right. Uh, so what I've been thinking about is I may go to like uh, social media coaches. I might go to graphic design educators, like who teach uh, entrepreneurs how to do good graphic design, people who mm -hmm. teach entrepreneurs how to build a website where it's mm -hmm. not what I do, but if they did what I'm suggesting, it would be better for that person. You know, they, they would, um, right. like a graphic designer would be thrilled if somebody showed up with a niche and a clear point of view. So mm -hmm. You know, those might be the type, but I'm, I'm going to be figuring out as I start to put these signature workshops out, what are the best types of hubs, the kind of general category? So yeah, it could be yoga studios, could be great, or yoga teachers. You reach out and say, hey, we'd love to do a deal with you, you know, where you mm -hmm. promote this and uh, send an email to your people and you'll get an affiliate cut or something like this. Um, right. But um, right, the, right, my local Facebook uh, mom group would go bananas over this, right? Nurseries, Montessori, Waldorf, Steiner schools for talks. Mm -hmm. Giving talks, huge. I mean, right. same as workshops for, for right. service providers, but man, getting out there and giving talks about skin, huge, mm -hmm. huge. Um, where, um, because there's so much education to give. I mean, like, right. what is skin in the first place? Why do we have skin issues? What's going on? What's the problem with these mainstream products? You know, what, what are the consequences of it? Um, you know, sunscreen, right. how could that be harmful? So you, right. could, you know, there's a lot of education that can be given. And man, if somebody sits through an hour long presentation, 
they are so much more likely to buy it. You can sell so much product at the end of a talk. So the talk is free. Um, right. Or you charge, I mean, it depending. And then you, you start to think, okay, but who is this for? Who would want these skincare products? You know, who might host this? And that's the thing to think about. Who would host this presentation that you could do? Um, so pre and postnatal, yeah, support services like counseling and other wellness. You know, one of the things you might also consider is coming up with gift boxes, like for new moms or something. Um, uh -huh. or gift boxes for teens. But this idea of a gift box, because in some ways it could be, and this is something worth exploring, but I mean, just riffing. I could imagine for some people, it's like, well, skincare, uh, do I really want to invest this much in myself? Uh -huh. it's vanity and it's selfish. But somebody else could buy it as a gift. How about for weddings? But like, you know, skincare gift box for, for new moms, for... Um, for the you know a new a bride to be or um, for for certain milestones and here's what's in the boxes but allowing people to buy them for others and then there might be hubs for that you know, right um, like okay where would you find the person who would buy it mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. you know, wedding shows suddenly become a thing or w w event planners wedding planners uh, that type of thing um, amazing. You know, local small business shops. There's one near me actually specifically looking for natural beauty products among other things. Okay, well, Victoria, send an email to that mm -hmm. website or drop your email in if you want Jingo. In, in the, yeah, in totally. Uh, right, uh, chiropractors, physio, uh, FST, the more natural healthcare clinics that have retail space. Yeah, some of them do sell. Uh, illness recovery groups, right? Those with autoimmune con concerns or skin conditions or sure, herb stores. Traveling many petty pre pre practitioners, uh, subscription boxes. I was wondering if you do subscription boxes because that's a, that's a business model thing, not a hubs thing, but yeah, good idea. Right, wedding and baby registries, skin coaches. Yeah, there are coaches who probably like will help you heal your skin. And if you reach out to them and say, "Look, we got some products, and there's probably lots of other great natural products, but we're one of them, and we'd love to, you know, tell you about what we do." And, Mm -hmm. do hair and makeup for weddings yeah retirement homes you guys are killing it on awesome. the functional medicine practitioners tanning salons holistic dental oh yeah okay. amazing thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for your work because my god the, the people are just getting poisoned every day with the stuff they put on their skin and they have no idea how toxic it's it true is. So thank you it's so true yeah, I've got my email in there. Thank you so much for everybody. I, I appreciate all your help and, and everything. Thanks. Okay.